On this video, I'll be reviewing Killzone 3. I'll start off the video by comparing Killzone 2 and 3. Killzone 2 had good graphics. I loved the game mechanics, and it was overall a good game. Multiplayer was awesome, had a twisted way of, you know, capture the flag, search and destroy, it was beautiful. Had a lot of good modes, online multiplayer, and the gameplay was superb. The storyline for Killzone 2 was not one of my favorite things about the game. It was actually the least favorite thing about the game. Um, when I first saw Killzone 3, I was happy because it was a teaser trailer. Then I saw the gameplay trailer and I saw the snow graphics and I personally didn't like it. When I finally got my hands on the actual game, I fell in love with the game. The whole game looks beautiful. It is a beautiful game. The snow graphics, for the first time I can say, a game besides Lost Planet got the snow graphics right. And that, personally, I find that rare. This game did it. The game mechanics were perfect. I personally played the game with the move. I found it much, so much fun. Like, they did the move mechanics perfect. The controllings are perfect, too. Um, funny thing. At first, I hated playing it with the move. Um, I thought it made the game too hard. After an hour playing with the move, I was in love with the controls. I went back to the regular control, and it was like, ah, oh, this is so boring. Um, the move contra uh, the move controls, it's basically like you're playing with your own skills, because it's you pointing your hand and shooting. It's, it's good. Um, the sharpshooter is recommended with this game. It makes it a whole new level of gameplay. Um, of course, if you have enough room to use a sharpshooter, um, but the move controlling for the move control itself, perfect for this game. Um, yeah, so the graphics are good. The story, oh my god, am I finally into the story of this game? Um, it has you wanting to know what's happening next after every single level. It's not one boring part of the game. There are epic fights, epic boss scenes, epic um, scenery. Like it in the first one, the scenery would change, not too much, but it would change. On this one, the scenery changes so much; it's just badass. Um, so let's take a look. Now I'm not gonna show you the video because any videos of the game because I have very a very bad bad camera um so i'll show you some of the pictures from the booklet i got the characters are freaking awesome they have a lot of new helgas these are like scientists um the standard soldier uh we have a female character design she doesn't come out too much but yeah um the maps they're all gorgeous you have space stations you're literally everywhere in this game well not everywhere, but jungles, ships, ruins, um, right here like a junkyard. It's 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 a beautiful game. It's as epic as these pictures, and these pictures are pretty epic. Um, the snow, really, really good job with the snow, guys. You guys did a good job with this game. Oh my God, the guns! Did I not fall in love with the guns? Um, they have the original guns. And some new guns like this gun right here. You guys might remember that gun. Um, um, the standard Magnum. Oh, and this time you can carry up to three weapons. Um, I'm still kind of confused how it works. Um, I think it's like a big class weapons like your... Um, rocket launchers um like there's some weapons that are attached to the floor you can break it off the floor and you can carry that around you now also carrying a sidearm and your standard weapon i love what they did with this game um with the the gun holding mechanic because the first one you can only hold two 
and then the first one you only had this magnum and like a a fast pistol near the end this one you have a mini shotgun my favorite the machine gun pistol it's very cool um basically if you zoom in you can only shoot one shot until you run out till you have like three bullets left and then it'll do an automatic fire um it, they give one shot headed shots and if you're not zoomed in um you're shooting automatically this was my favorite handgun um you also have a little shotgun um it's pretty cool now these guys oh my god the true carrier con monsters these guys are awesome um these guys lead to some epic battles in the game and these ships were pretty cool too I'm not gonna tell you too much about them because I don't want to ruin the story these giant monsters that look like came from what was the game resistance it's pretty dope you have a good, good battle with it this game to me felt like a mixture of Gears of War, um, what was that other game called? <laughs> Killzone, of course, it's like own game, um, Resistance, and Modern Warfare. It was perfect combination, that's not a bad thing. So yeah, overall, the graphics were good, the game was good, the storyline was good, the multiplayer was good. There was not one wrong thing I personally found this, found about this game, and I'm gonna say this is the number one first-person shooter that I've ever played. Like, it was just too much of a good game. So if you guys get a chance, get the demo, or even better, buy the game because you will not regret having this game. If you had problems with the original controlling, um, you can change it to Call of Duty style controlling. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this game a 10 out of 10, and I hope you enjoy my review, and I hope it helps you in buying this game, because it's a must for the PlayStation owners, and if you're not a PlayStation owner, get a PlayStation, because this is one of the best games ever created on Earth. So yeah, 10 out of 10, people. Enjoy.